Hello and welcome to Raggy's Craft Beer Reviews. So, not a craft beer, but it's only a name. So, Osset Brewery, it's White Rat. Uh, I'm not overly fond of rats, um, <laughs> for, for reasons I've mentioned in the past. So this is White Rat, it's an Oppie Pale Ale, 4%. It says on the back, um, Osset Brewery, a progressive and passionate independent brewery located in the heart of Yorkshire. Born of family values, unity, teamwork, and integrity. Love that. Crafted over two decades, we've perfected the science of producing ales of consist consistently high quality and honed the heart of brewing beers that are loved by all. White Rat is a very pale, hoppy ale. is made from local and malt. A combination of Cascade, Columbus, and Amarillo hops. Produce an intensely aromatic and resinous finish cascade columbus and amarillo do you know i've got the funniest thing that the raggy's golden ale was cascade columbus and that does it tell on the back <clears throat> no it just says hops uh. Check me old um, messages from Lincoln Green and uh, find out what the hops were. Curiosity, you know, killed the cat. Um, or killed the rat, even. So, as we can see, crystal clear pour. Local pub near me, the uh, the Vale, have been having Osset Brewery beers quite a bit. There is a change of management now, though, so wherever they will from now on. So as you can see, it's quite a light pour. You'd call that more straw than any colour. Um, ton of carbonation, two centimetres uh, of, of head, white head. Biscuity nose. And a light malt nose on this. To dankness on the nose there as well funnily enough all right cheers all got this from morrison's in their regional ale promotion thing that they're doing and you know first ever beer in bottle from this brewery so for me it's a great thing you know absolutely love getting new breweries um to review and uh yeah it's uh it's nice to do these things you know nice to check out new breweries and i hope everyone's enjoying the the beer reviews at the moment i've had to go back in time to using a camera to record the beer reviews so hence why everything will, will be reading back to front it is what it is i used to do it all um on youtube just upload on youtube um but YouTube has got issues at the moment, as, as you've seen on one of my videos. So hence why I'm doing it this way. So um, I'm going to get a new phone at the end of the month and we'll move from there and we'll see how it, how it progresses. But I'm enjoying this anyway. I'm able to stockpile beer reviews now. So I'm actually doing two in one. You know. Well, when I, when I can actually talk and not, you know. Wow, kicking the balls, resin there. Powerful, resinous taste. Something you'd expect uh, from a craft beer, you know, from, from one of the big craft beer breweries. Wow, what a pokey little bugger this is. Oh, bitter, resinous. Wasn't expecting that. I mean, I obviously read it on the on the label, but um, oh, yeah, no, you've had this one. Jesus Christ! Oh, wow, that's got some poke to it, and you know, a lot of bland beers out there. Nothing worse than having a beer and you drink it and you think. What was that about? This is one of them that says 
yeah, I may get some of that down you. And it does, it, it's, uh, whew, bloody hell. Obviously made for the old man of Yorkshire, because uh, that's got some bloody poke. Um, oh, 20 past eight already. And uh, on the day this was recorded, uh, the Queen sadly passed away. And, you know, so, so surreal. S totally surreal. You know, not massive, not a massive royal fan, you know, in that respect. Um, but, you know, you respect them for what they are. But um, um, not some of the pompousness, but uh, yeah. But that, I think maybe that's because poor background and all that. I, I don't know. We, we've all got our own opinions and, and everything. And that, that, that's the best way, you know. That's, that makes us all uniquely different. Um, so, in any case. Wow, that is really, really pokey. So, yeah, it's got a real dank, real powerful nose now coming off. So this beer, it, it starts off like a biscuity, light malt. Uh, there's like a dankness. There's a powerful aroma coming off it. And then you get into it and then you get that from the, uh, the resin. And it's really resinous, bitter. And it's a powerful beer. Four percent. You wouldn't think a four percent beer could do that. Hoppy pale ale. Wah. Uh this I like because it's a statement beer. It says, Oh yeah, I, I'm a traditional beer, am I? Well, take that. And it does, you know, it really is a belter. Uh something different. But every now and again we need something different. I've just reviewed a, a rather bland uh, wheat beer. And then, um, but you'd have to watch the reviews. Depends how, how, how when I upload them. But uh, for this, wow, what a belter. For me, 4.2 out of 5. Wow. Impressed. I'll sit brewery. Cheers.